That's tough. But we always take care of each other. At the end of the day, this is us. It ain't like white, blue, this is us. This is us right here, we always do that. Is everybody good with that? Yes, sir. All right, hey, I thought we were working today. I was proud of that. There's some stuff we gotta clean up, but we were working. There's no doubt this team will compete. I know that, I know that. I wanna announce the, uh, the captains now, all right? Uh, when I took the job, it was one of the first things I thought about because I think it's really, really important. It's an honor to, to be named a captain. Um, it's one of the greatest honors you can get in sports and then definitely on a football team. Uh, there's a number of guys that, that were right there, um, and, I, and I love those guys, and they're going to be upset because that's how that works, but you got to rally around your teammates, and remember it's not about you, it's about everybody, and that's tough. But I just want to address that because there are a lot of guys who could have been named captain. But there was four guys, there was four guys who were ahead of everybody else, and they were together. So I feel like uh, four captains is the right thing for this team. That's this team's identity, in my opinion. And I kind of knew that in December. I thought there'd be a few captains. So um, the one who got the most votes, who was kind of on his own a little bit, uh, who's come a long way, come a long way. And I'm just extremely impressed with him and how much uh, respect he has from his teammates. Is Keon Whitaker. He's one of the best players in the league, and I, I absolutely love him. He's going to keep doing his thing. Is Deshaun Stevens. Yeah, Jaquan Blair. Chris Ferguson. Hey, man. <laughs> Honestly, bro, I'm blessed you guys picked me. Um, I'm just, I'm excited for this season, bro. I think we all know what's going on here. I think we know we're building here, that culture, man. And, you know, we're going to go a long way. And I think, you know, one thing that rang true with Scoop yesterday was that he said that, you know, everybody can be a leader. Everybody can set an example. Everybody can be that guy. So don't forget that. Just because us, us three, us four guys are going to represent this team, don't forget that, all right? Everybody can be a leader. Everybody can set that example, all right? I love you guys. So we'll do it. Yeah, I mean, it's time to, to take the next step. And, you know, I think he's done some things really, really well. Um, he is, uh, you know, the leader of the offense. Uh, named a captain as a junior, which is really, really uh, a great achievement for him. I think it's about uh, taking that next step in terms of his progressions, trusting the protections, and then taking everything he's learned and all these experiences and applying them to the game now. That's what makes you an elite quarterback and somebody that can take the, the reps that he takes off the field and in practice and applies them to the game. I mean, I have a lot of confidence in Chris as a leader, as a quarterback. Um, he's everything you want for a Q, so I feel good about him. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a talented group uh, from top to bottom. We have a lot of guys that do different things in that room. Um, Ferg being the leader and a lot of young guys um, learning from him, um, completing a, a high percentage of passes, um, cutting down on our missed assignments and, and moving the ball down the field and being efficient. And uh, that's what those guys have exhibited here in the first couple weeks camp. Yeah, I mean, you always want to have a quarterback whenever you take a job like this. And then, uh, you know, we've had some success at the skill positions, you know, feel very confident about wideouts uh, with, you know, Ernest and Quan and Andre and Devin and those guys. Uh, tight end. You know, Sean, Ori, Kevin Flackey, uh, Daniel Reimer, some of those guys, they've been stepping up into those roles to replace Drew and, and Julian. But uh, up front, I feel very confident about that. Uh, we have more depth than we've ever had and really feel like we're uh, on the cusp of being a very, very good unit up front, which is exciting because I think we've come a long way uh, in that regard across the board. And, you know, we got a great player in Liam Dobson out there that everybody knows, but there's some other guys in there that are going to be really, really good for us. And I'm excited about them. I think the biggest thing as a team this year, it's going to be maintaining everything and not because last year, Nobody really expected us to do much, and we were the underdog in almost every game we played, so it's not, you don't have a lot to worry about when you're playing, you're just playing. Now people want to try to beat us and knock us down, so just kind of maintaining that stuff, and what, what our slogan is now this year is elevate the standard, and that's what it's going to take to do that. This program has had varying levels of success, and it's how do you, uh, you know, keep it at a consistent level. 
how do you raise that standard? How do you elevate it and, and make it a championship level program? And, and that's hard. You know, it's going to be a lot of work and it, it's harder to maintain that level rather than just get there once. And I think that's why we're doing things a little bit differently. That's why uh, the conversations with our players are more directed uh, to that higher expectation. And people ask, you know, how do you feel about the expectations? That, that's good. You know, you want to have a winning program where there are expectations and, and it's a hard journey to get there, but it's very, very rewarding. And it's, it's a lot of fun when you win. So we're looking forward to it.